I think many people think that ESG is solely focused on environmental factors. They're always concentrated on the E in ESG, but you know, don't really remember the social and the governance factors. Can you clarify uh, or give us a broader scope of ESG and how it encompasses social and governance aspects as well? Sure, I think you're right. People think about the E, they immediately go to climate. And I think part of that is because there's been a lot of publicity around the SEC proposed climate rules. And also I think people feel that there's a sense of urgency around climate, right? In terms of climate reporting and starting to build that out. It's a long lead time and it's something that's important to a lot of different companies and stakeholders. But ESG is much broader than just climate. And so when you think about the S, you mentioned kind of human capital. I think that human capital is a core ESG issue that a lot of companies forget about. During COVID, it became a primary ESG issue, right? That all companies were focused on. Are they training and reskilling their employees? Are they figuring out how to keep them safe? Are they figuring out how they might you know, gradually return to work? I mean, these are all issues that companies struggle with that are S issues. Other S issues might be cybersecurity, data privacy, right? How are you protecting your customers' information? What's their expectation of you? And then there are G issues too, things like shareholder rights, or how you handle kind of anti-bribery and corruption, kind of basic business that ethics. But these are all non-financial risks that end up going to kind of your long-term sustainability as a company. Yeah, and I feel like some companies don't even know that they have ESG issues until they can really sit down and talk to them to talk about those social and governance issues that could be happening out there. Right, and they might be more pressing issues than some of the E. Yeah, absolutely.